Jones assemble! Settle down, everyone! I have an announcement to make. Remember what I told you, that we are going to pull off the most amazing heist of all time by stealing the moon? Yeah! All right! And that all I had to do was get a bank loan to build a rocket and we were all set? Go! 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 Um, yeah, well, that didn't work out so good. Yeah! Mr. Perkins at the Bank of Evil says we have to start paying instead of borrowing or else he will do unpleasant things to me. I heard that, Tim. Anyway, I have decided that none of that matters. Out there in the world are plenty of rocket parts. All we have to do is find them and take them for ourselves. Right! <laughs> before Vector can build his rocket and get there first. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, a new villain, Vector. He also, it seems, wants the moon, so we're kind of in a race to get there, all right? Don't worry, don't worry. We are much, much smarter than Vector. Trust me. Really, Dr. Navario has assured me that he can, if we get all the parts, Build the rocket. After that, the moon belongs to the number one master villain in the world and his awesome team of minions. That's us. Now, okay, let's let's all get ready, everybody. We have some training to do before our first heist. <laughs> Running off, let's take a look at how weapons and minions work. First, there's the air gun. It can wait, wait, why is it that you have given me an air gun? Oh, uh, hold up. You told me to build a weapon that could blow away anything. If you. <sighs> Never mind, what were you saying? <clears throat> yes, well, the air gun doubles your jump height. Just jump a second time while in the air to activate it! Give it a go! Mm. Uh. The air gun can indeed blow away some enemies. Uh, why not try it out on this fella? <laughs> enemies that run away can't hurt you. And attacking things that can't hurt you is... well, despicable. Doing things like that increases your level of despicableness. Your despicable rating, if you will. We'll talk more about that later. Your trusty freeze ray can do lots of cool stuff. <laughs> For instance, you can blast these hot platform thingies and make them safe to jump on. If the ice starts melting, you can refreeze the platform, but you have to be quick. Moving platform doohickey thingamajigs also freeze. They stay still when you shoot them. to avoid being crashed. You can freeze pistons to make a safe path. You can freeze 
free some of your enemies too. Try blasting these laser turrets and see what happens. Now, every enemy can be defeated by at least one of your weapons. I always forget which is which. Uh, you, you'll just have to experiment. But experimenting is fun. Now, as I said before, there are plenty of ways to be despicable. Whenever you come across objects like these, you can do marvellously nasty things to them. Go on, try it. and bonuses for being despicable. So, you might as well have some fun with it. When running and jumping won't get you through a situation, it's time to send in the minions. They can help you with puzzles. They're very useful in that way. Now, you can command the minions to stand in formations, each of which is affected by your weapons. Now, minions must be in formation before your weapons affect them. Create a single minion formation and then blast it with your freeze ray. <laughs> that was fun, but it can be useful too. Now, some buttons, like that yellow one, stay down when pressed. Go ahead, step on it. Now, others, like that red one, only stay down if there's something holding them down. Order a minion onto the button and make an ice block, like you did before. Good! Now, you should be able to use ice block minions to weigh down just about anything. And to act as floating platforms in water. Uh, not that I've tried that, of course. Uh, your air gun should also affect the minions. Uh, I think. Order a single minion to stand directly below the button on the ceiling, and then... Hit him with the air gun! <laughs> oh, he's got a bit of an inflated opinion of himself, hasn't he? Well, at least he's good at pressing overhead buttons and lifting things, I suppose. You can also make minion towers. Now place a tower formation on your side of that gap in the floor and blast it with your air gun. Ah! You can use a minion bridge to cross gaps to support other formations and to catch falling objects. Now. Let's try the circle formation. Set up a circle formation and then hit it with the air gun. Yeah! 
You have a minion fan club! <laughs> See how it moves the floating minion so it can get to the overhead button? You can get rid of a formation when you don't need it anymore. Use the controls to cycle through your formations and disband the fan. enough minions to make new formations, you can just get rid of formations you don't need anymore to free some up. Well, don't just stand there. Get going! I wonder what would happen if you used the freeze ray and the air gun together. Shouldn't be too dangerous. Well, let's give it a go. Huh. Let's see. Why not try operating that button there using ice and wind? So make an ice block and then blast it with the air gun. Please hey! <laughs> Whoops. I wondered where I put that thing. <laughs> well, no matter. Let's see if we can get it out of your way. Make a circle formation and freeze it with the freeze ray. Then blast the ice ball with the air gun to roll it into the statue. You can also make an ice tower which blocks openings and stops wind from fans and stuff like that. Go ahead and make one. Now, let's see what the air gun does to it. <laughs> well, that wasn't very useful, was it? Ahead of you is a puzzle map pickup. Each one provides details on how to complete one puzzle of your choice. To use a puzzle pickup when you're in a puzzle room, go to the puzzle room zoom mode and activate the puzzle map. And scroll through the steps. Pick it up and try it. Give it. a freebie. When you're out in the real world, you'll need to conserve puzzle maps. You don't have enough for all of the puzzles. Let's move along. I've located an engine for the rocket. In the 60s, there was this fellow called Cam Shaft. 
that became famous for stealing engines of all sorts. He was an awesome mechanic, and his greatest creation was a cluster of rocket engines that he sort of patched together from old missiles. It should work beautifully for our purposes. Now, I'm more of an idea guy than a planner, so Dave here will explain the rest. Dangerous. We back 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 engine and a bus a bus a da. Then you back back tuk tuk back 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 tuk tuk. That's all scary. Bus da 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 da. Get out. Ta da. Sounds easy enough. Good luck, crew. guy gets coins, I get this.
Not bad. supposed to get past this.
Take it away, guys. Tonight's top story, a daring break-in at a local building today has authorities baffled. A businessman who works in the building, one Mr. Perkins, says the robbery occurred at around noon. He had no further details on the incident other than to say that the building was, quote, not, repeat, not a bank. Who said anything about a bank? An object which appeared to be a rocket engine of some sort was seen being carried through downtown streets by what witnesses describe as a group of very short plumbers in overalls. More details as they become available. <laughs> 